The Coronavirus Task Force says more than 2 million people have now been tested as of this week, but there are still many people who'd like to be tested, but can't get a test like many of our healthcare workers, which is why there's so much interest right now in a different kind of test, an antibody test. What's currently being utilized to diagnose um, individuals who are sick and ill, those are what we call antigen tests, or we're specifically looking for the virus itself. But at some point after a person recovers, that test would still come back negative. Now, when you look at that and contrast that with the antibody, that's your body's immune system response to having the infection. Valley doctor Christina Madison says these antibodies are what prevent a person from getting reinfected, at least for a while. And the only way to get them is through someone else's blood, a vaccination that essentially teaches your body to create them or you were infected yourself. The peace of mind that would come from knowing you already were infected, you have antibody, you're safe from reinfection 99.9% .9 of the time. And health experts think there's already tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people who fall into this category. They're not being counted in the COVID numbers impacting our understanding of how dangerous this virus is, and they're also not working. We think it'll be a tool to help us get people back to work. It'll be additional information because, as you know, if you have an antibody, that means you were exposed and have recovered from it. Um, that, with the information about diagnosis, should help. This type of testing is already being rolled out in places like California after the FDA approved its first COVID-19 antibody test earlier this week. But there are other tests out there. Some of the tests that may be available on the internet may have very low sensitivity and specificity and give you a false reassurance that you either give you a false positive or a false negative, implying that you may be protected.